Hey guys, David here with TND Sports Cards. Welcome back to a brand new weekend way back video. Today we're going to go way back to 1993 and take a look at some packs of cards from baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. So what we have for you here is to start out with, we have three packs of OPG Premier hockey cards this might have been the last year they produced these. I'm not entirely sure. These are all Series 1 cards. Um, I don't think there's any real significant rookies we'd be looking for here. But um, these are the first OPG Premier packs I believe I've ever opened. So um, this should be kind of cool just to you know take a look back and see what was in there, see where the big players were at that period of time. Uh, all right, so we got those. We have... Top Stadium Club basketball cards. I got three of these. Now, I really am not sure what the story is with these packs. They all look the same. Uh, now, I have like 20 of these. And I opened one of them a little while ago. And they all the cards um, were, I mean, really, really nice. They matched up with when I did some research online. I don't know if these are promotional packs. I don't know if these are all going to be the same because they all have this Jordan, which I think is a, I don't know if it's actually a card or it's just like a promotional card on the front. Um, the, the rest of the cards are all in the set. Like the numbers all matched up, the pictures all matched up, although this Scotty Pip in the back looks different from what I saw. Uh, the picture here, I'm sorry, looks different from what I saw um, when I did some research. But I guess we'll find out if these are all the same or not. Uh, but that's what I have for 93 basketball, so um, hopefully they'll find something good in there. Um, I do have one pack of uh, Upper Deck uh, Super Premium football cards. And uh, this set, I know that the big rookie is Jerome Bettis. Uh, Drew Bledsoe's rookie card's in here as well. Those would be the two big ones. I believe Mark Brunel is in here as well. Um, but yeah, Bettis and um, Bledsoe would be the two uh, really big ones we'd be looking for. And um, we have three packs of Series 1. We have three cello packs of Series 1 Tops Baseball. And we would be... Looking for Derek Jeter's rookie card, the uh, futures or draft pick card. So uh, that would be pretty awesome if we could find one of those. All right, so I believe we will start with the hockey and then we'll move on to basketball. So again, these are OPG Premier hockey packs. Uh, they did this for a few years. I know the first year they did them, the 1990-91. Uh, that's a really nice set. Uh, I'm uh, interested to uh, start opening some of those at some point. But uh, for now, we're in 93, so we're going to open these and take a look at them. I'm not sure if I've, uh, like I said before, I'm not sure if I've ever opened any of these. All right. Are these stuck together? No, they're not. They're okay. So we have. Well, these are really hard to read. Um, I honestly cannot even read what that says in the bottom of this card. I don't know if this is like a foil card. Uh, we have uh, Benoit Brunet of the Canadians. Uh, Doug Evans, Donald Audette, Tamu Solani. That's a nice one. That's an all-star card. And we have a checklist. James Patrick of the Rangers. He was definitely gone by the end of the 94 season. He was not on their Stanley Cup team. We have uh, Rick Tabaracci, Craig Ludwig, Rob Stauber, Chris Joseph. He was pretty good. Have uh, Shell Samuelson, Vladimir Malakoff. I know he played in the NHL for a while. In my opinion, he was really good his rookie year, and then after that, he was just kind of so-so. But his rookie year, 
He looked like he was going to be a superstar. I mean, what a shot he had, and he could skate. But he really just never lived up to what he appeared he was going to be, and at least with the Islanders. I know they gave up on him after about three years. And we have uh, Evgeny Davidoff, the Jets, and our last one is Pat Elinok. All right, so these are pretty nice-looking cards, but we didn't find any super big names in there. All right, so our next pack here. It looks like the first card might be the foil pack all the time, and what do we have? Sean Chambers here. Is that what that looks like? Yeah. All right. Of the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, we have Glenn Anderson, who I believe is in the Hall of Fame. Felix Potvin, Tommy Soderstrom, Yvonne Corvu. I remember him having a tremendous playoff series against the Canadians in the early 90s. I don't know if that was 91 or 92, but he already had some huge games. Uh, a couple hat tricks, if I remember correctly. That one series, he really was like a superstar, almost like a John Drews type showing in that series. Brett Hedekin. Uh, Zarly Zalapsky. Ulf Samuelson. So we have the Samuelson brothers. No, they're really not brothers, but they played on the Penguins together. Chris Chelios, that's a nice one. Alexander Mogilny, he was a big goal scorer for several years. Uh, Nikolai Borshevsky, Mike Richter. I don't know if Mike Richter's in the Hall of Fame. If he's not, he probably should be. He had a great career. As much as I couldn't stand the Rangers and stand him, he was a great goaltender. Wendell Young and Paul Stanton. All right, so that's two down with the hockey. We got one left here. These are really nice cards. Just, uh, it's kind of a shame with productions like these, you know, during the, this is during the height of the junk wax time, so a lot of this stuff really just isn't worth much. And these are stuck together a little. All right, our first card is Dave Manson. I should have known that by looking at him. Okay. I have Claude Lemieux. Another Chris Chelios, another Alexander Mogilny, another Nikolai Borshevsky. Obviously, these were collated well. Uh, Philippe, was that Philippe? Philippe Bozon. Sorry, couldn't read that. Uh, Ken Danico, solid defenseman for the Devils. Adam Graves, another good player. Darius Kasparaitis. He was a lot of fun with the Islanders for a few years. Little guy that just went around smashing people all over the ice. He was a fun fun player to watch. And we got Chris Lindbergh. We got Patrick Flatley, who was at this point nearing nearing the end of his career. He played a couple more years with the Islanders, and then he I think he played one year with the Rangers and then retired. But he was uh, he was a good leader, good player. And we have Hall of Famer Paul Coffey, Johan Garpenlov, and our last card is Derek Desjardins. All right, so that was a nice look at OPG Premier cards from 93. And I guess now we'll do our basketball experiment here, see if these are in fact all the same. I have a feeling they're going to be... I don't know where I got these from. Like I said, I have... Actually, I think my father gave these to me. So they might have been like a promotion or something from some somewhere. Uh, if there were giveaways at a game or something. But they are legitimately from the Stadium Club set. All right, so this Jordan is, I don't know if this is like an advertisement. It does not, oh, it does have card number one on there. I did not notice that when I opened the previous packs. So... I guess this is card number one in the set. And we have uh, Shaquille O'Neal. 
this is a nice looking card. Again, these are just part of the the junk wax time. I don't know if they really have much uh, much value. Harold Miner, he was supposed to be Baby Jordan. I don't think he played a terribly long time in uh, in the NBA, but he was a tremendous college player. Vladi Divac, he was uh, he was a great player. He hung around for a long time. John Starks. That could be a picture from the dunk that Knicks fans would know from game two of the 93 Eastern Conference Final. It's a good shot. David Robinson. Yeah, these are all the same cards that I opened in the, in the previous pack uh, off camera. Patrick Ewing, Tyrone Corbin, and our last one, Scottie Pippen with uh, Gerald Wilkins probably pretending to guard him. Uh, I guess we can open one more of these, but they're probably all going to be the same. But there's no harm in looking and seeing if we find something different. And right, we got that Jordan again. Yeah, these are all the same cards. So these must have been... High court. These must have been like a some kind of a giveaway somewhere. I guess since we have all three here, we'll open it just for fun. If we can get it open. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know what these could have been from. And like I said, I think my father actually gave these to me. So he may have picked them up somewhere, maybe at a game. They were just giving them all away. Oh, we got two Scotty Pippins in this one. All right, so that's 93 basketball. I don't think I've ever opened those either. All right, so the SP football we're going to move on to here, and maybe we'll find a Jerome Bettis or a, or a Drew Bledsoe. These are super nice cards, though. They might be kind of stuck together. All right, so we have Neil Smith. And we got a Dan Williams here. Yeah, this is what the back of these look like. I have a whole mess of these from different years, including a couple of boxes, so I'll be looking forward to sharing some of them down the road. Okay, Jesse Hester. And we have a Marvin Jones. Yeah, some of these are stuck to each other here. I apologize for this. Uh, let's, okay, all right. So we got the Marvin Jones, Adrian Morrell, and we got a few Jets here. Anthony Carter, he was he was quite good for several years. And we got a Boomer. Check out the back of his card here. These are really colorful, high quality cards. Super nice. And these appear to be upside down. So we have a Heath Sherman. That's the front. Willie Davis of the Chiefs. Man, these are tough to separate. George Teague. I believe he went on to play for the Cowboys. And our last two are Eric Martin and Quadre Ismail. So no Jerome Bettis and no Drew Bledsoe. And that's all right. These are beautiful cards. All right, so we will now move on to our baseball top series one and I guess we'll keep our fingers crossed that we find a Derek Jeter in here yeah I think 34 cards per pack yep all right 
This looks like Keith Miller. It sure is. Derek Lilliquist. Uh, David Hulse. Todd Burns. Jeff Parrott. Carlos Garcia. Wes Chamberlain. Kirk McCaskill. He was pretty good for a little while. Especially with the Angels. So that's what the what the backs look like. You got another color photo on there as well. Trevor Wilson, Paul Molitor, he's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Rusty Meacham, Mel Hall, Joe Orsolak. He was a good little bit player. He moved around a bunch of different teams, but he was pretty good. Got a checklist. Uh, Dennis Eckersley, that's a nice shot. Good looking card. Nearing the end here, this might have been his last year with Oakland. He played a couple years with the Cardinals before he retired. Uh, Mark Lemke, Mark McLemore, Dick Schofield, and his brief stop with the Mets. Brian Barnes, Kenny Rogers, Brian Harper, Sam Horn. He was a big home run hitter for a short period of time. Or at least he was supposed to be. And we have a foil Juan Guzman and a foil Pedro Estacio. Mark Gardner, Eric Hansen, Jeff Montgomery, Bertie Williams. This was probably like his second card. I think his rookie's in the... Well, actually, his rookie might be in the 91 set, but don't quote me on that. Raphael Belliard, Tom Candiotti, John Smiley, Frank Viola, David Justice, and Chuck McElroy. All right, so that's our first baseball pack. I'm gonna go on to number two here. Do have a draft pick car, but it's not the one we're looking for. Todd Stevenson. Yeah, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> if he ever amounted to anything. Let's see what the back of this card looks like here. All right, so we got another Hall of Famer here, Frank Thomas. Tom Goodwin, Roger Clemens. Oh, another draft pick, but again, not one we're looking for. Sean Lowe. He's another one that I can honestly say. I don't know if I've heard of him or what he amounted to in the major leagues. Damian Easley. Uh, Wally Joyner. All right. Dan Plesak. Edwin Nunez. Yvonne Rodriguez. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Holy moly, wow. That is beyond awesome. And this card looks really, really good. It looks like it's like centered almost perfectly too. I mean, I'm jumping the gun a little bit here. Wow. This is incredible. I mean, I'm not a Yankee fan at all. Uh, but, I mean, I, I admired and had a lot of respect for Derek Jeter. I admired and had a lot of respect for a lot of players on the Yankees all through the 90s and early 2000s. This is just awesome. Oh, I'm so excited that we found this card. Very, very nice. Okay, well, let's catch our breath and move on a little bit here. We got a Mark McGuire. We have Eric Fox, Dave Rigetti. Uh, another Mel Hall, another Joe Orsalak, another Checklist, uh, another Dennis Eckersley. Too bad we don't have another Derek Jeter. Uh, Mark Lemke, Mark McLemore, another Dick Schofield, uh, Brian Barnes. We have a Charlie Hayes foil card along with a uh, John Kelly. Is that who that is? John Kiley. Can't say I heard of him. Uh, Jay Howell, Mike Jackson, Ellis Burks, Lee Guterman, 
Rob Deere. Big home run hitter. There was one year. I don't even know if it was here yet. There was one year where he hit 40 home runs and he hit like 190. Well, there's one year with the Tigers there where he hit 179. Yeah, he was an example of all or nothing, but he could hit the ball a long way. Uh, Jim Lariats, good ball player. He was a really important piece to the Yankees, at least when they started their championship runs. Pedro Munoz, Delano DeShields, Alex Fernandez, and Luis Salazar. All right, so we got one more, one more cello pack here for our 93 baseball. Okay, so we have Russ Swan, Mark Portugal, Chris Donalds. He was supposed to be good. I know he played for a few years, but he was not really anything terribly great. Cecil Fielder. No, I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame, but he certainly had some mammoth home run seasons. 93 actually might have been the year. No, I'm sorry. It was 90 when he hit 50, 51 home runs. Tremendous home run hitter. He moved on to the Yankees towards the end of his career and helped them. Uh, Mike Lavalier is a good player. Greg Jeffries. Greg Vaughn. He was pretty good. Jamie Navarro. Joe Gray. Tom Pagnazzi. Jeff Hewson. Will Clark. Tim Burke. Mike Sosha. Leo Gomez. Uh, Will Cordero. Pat Howell. David Segui, Kevin Moss, Mark McGuire again, Eric Fox, Dave Rigetti. We've got some more foil cards here. Uh, Steve Bouchelle, he was pretty good. And Ruben Amaro, uh, Mike Magnanti, Ray Sanchez, Willie Randolph. This was pretty much near the end of his career. He played one year, maybe two years with the Mets. Might have only been that one year. Sandy Alomar, this has got to be like pretty early in his career, but it's obviously not a rookie card. Moises Alou, he was a tremendous hitter. He was like he could roll out of roll out of bed and get three hits. Uh, I don't know if this is his rookie card. It's a gold cup, but that doesn't mean it was his rookie card. Uh, Mike Perez, Kyle Abbott, Frank Seminera, Mark Witten, and Craig Grayback. All right, so that does it for our 93 baseball, which very, very obviously was the huge hit of this break. And we'll have to... Get this in a case. Uh, this, I mean, this card looks absolutely amazing. I'm almost like afraid to be handling it here. It looks like it's centered just super, super well. At least on the front it does. Perfect surface. Yeah, there's no, no apparent marks on this. The corners look really sharp. Yeah, this is this is a really really nice card. All right, well that's uh, that makes it worth opening these packs just alone. All right, guys. Well, that was 1993. Uh, I know it wasn't one of the bigger years for uh, for cards, but um, hopefully uh, uh, you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. I mean, obviously, again, pulling a Derek Jeter rookie card. I can't really ask for uh, much more than that when you're opening packs from 1993. So um, I want to thank you so much for watching and um, please hit that like and the subscribe button and we will see you on Monday with our next edition of Modern Mondays. Uh, enjoy your weekend and uh, we'll see you then. Take care.